The NHBL Finals are exclusively hosted and presented by Skyver Community. A fresh take on Team Fortress 2 since 2014 and the home of the longest running and most popular Class Wars server. Skyver Community, official server host and official presenter of the NHBL Finals. The NHBL Finals, presented by Skyver Community, is sponsored by My Variety, official prize provider of the NHBL Finals. Scrap.tf, the first automated banking service for Team Fortress 2. And by Xeno Gamers, a different way to play. Both of them trying to look and appeal to be here. Warriors wins the Sasha Heavyweight Championship! Skyver Community welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Heavy Boxing League. Ladies and gentlemen, it is June 2nd, the first Friday in June, and the first night of the playoffs of the National Heavy Boxing League. It's the NHBL Finals kickoffs, presented by Skyver Community. Good evening, everyone. Gentlemen, Sardora here with Clayface and Tyrone up in the booth. We have a great slate of matches for you tonight. The full left side of the bracket, referred to as the side of will be having their matches tonight. A lot at stake here with the best two out of three matches occurring tonight. First with Musique and Gear Grinder. Gear Grinder, a substitute for Spogo due to some moving problems. Gear Grinder will be substituting in there to face Musique, one of the prime players for the Swap Shop Boxing League that's currently on a break for their regular events all through June. So their first match at getting up and next with Vidki and Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick, another great setup of Swap Shop Boxing League boxers going at it together. Both of them well qualified to get in here to the NHBL finals. Vidki, of course, being a substitute for True Blue at the last second. Then we have the return of White Russian Bear, who has only got two tournament titles to his name. The second Sasha Heavyweight Championship, the NHBL Finals, several years ago, and the Magnes Magnificent Club Clash here in Season 6. So Russian Bear looking to make a decent run at trying another championship, even though he has made it to three Sasha Heavyweight Championships only, unfortunately, to lose one. And the final match of the night, Kinsley set to face off against some porcupine. And some porcupine had has the record for the most consecutive tournaments won of any heavy boxer in the National Heavy Boxing League at four tournaments, which that streak was broken by Spotten in the Equestrian Sentinels Backyard Brawl, and he has been silent ever since. So we have a lot of great matches set up today, and of course tomorrow the other side of the wild cards happening. And Clayface, this is almost something you never see. The first instance in the National Heavy Boxing League where the divisional two divisional matches will be set in the usual instance where two matches happen on both sides of the bracket. But of course, the side of death occurring tonight. Let's talk about this first match we have up here. Music and the substitute fighter Gear Grinder. You think the fact of Gear Grinder being substituted in here, does this give him more of a motivation to be able to make his mark here in the NHBL Finals? Absolutely. But if you look at Musique, it's just, it's clean, it's effective, it's dominant. You have never seen a guy as clean and sharp as Musique. And it's interesting because this left side of the bracket will have some insane sets of, of matches that have never actually taken place. Of course, you know, you've got Russian Bear and Dimitri, who have never actually faced each other before, which is going to be very interesting. And that match was originally supposed to happen back in ja in January in the Champions versus Champions match. This is a huge left side of the bracket. It's insane. It's like fat material. It's crazy. Absolutely. And of course, looking at the next side of the match, we'll get Tyrone's opinion here. You've got Vidkey and Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. Now, Vidkey, he made an appearance in the Skyver Community Battle Royale, didn't make it quite to the conference finals of that tournament. He made a decent run in there, but he has had some more dominance over in Swap Shop Boxing League, getting an Australian championship under his belt at one point. Of course, Patrick having that too, but Patrick, he is coming into this tournament the top of the National Heavy Boxing League, winning the Time to Play Network Fisticuffs and then the Skyver Community Battle Royale here. You think Vidkey is going to dethrone the current NHBL number one? 
I, well, I personally love an underdog story. I just don't think it's going to happen tonight. Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick is on a hot streak that's just never been seen before in the history of the NHBL. Unless he's, unless he's just not going to perform tonight at all, I think that he's going to win. I, I apologize to Vidki personally. I sympathize with him. But he's just no match for Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. Now, we'll talk with you as well about this, the, the third match we have between White Russian Bear and Dimitri. Now, Dimitri, he's also been dominant in the swap shot boxing league, and he's managed to make his mark here in the top four of the Time to Play Network Fisticuffs and the Skyver Community Battle Royale, but he hasn't gotten quite that first place mark yet. And then White Russian Bear getting one tournament under his belt to qualify here for the NHBL finals. Russian Bear... He's had a lot a lot of slump over the years. He's had a little bit of issues as a heavy boxer, but he's looking to try and make a good run for the Sasha Heavyweight Championship here. Looking at the, looking at both of those heavy boxers and what they're capable of, how is it going to end up being down to one round in that match or is one of them going to sweep the other? Uh it's really going to come down to who's uh who's really taking it a lot more seriously. I'm sure that both of these boxers are taking this seriously, but it also has to do with the preparation beforehand. While White Russian Bear has a ton of experience in the NHBL, Dimitri just seems like a very determined boxer, and I think that he might come out on top tonight. And now, Clayface, of course, we're going to talk to you about the final match that we have for tonight between yeah. Kinsley and oh, Some Porcupine. Of course, Some Porcupine... Uh, Gave you one of your prime moments in broadcast history that we won't mention at the moment. We'll save that for the match. But <laughs> both of these boxers, Kinsley, he managed. He has not won a tournament yet, but he's managed to qualify in several tournaments. He's placed in the top four boxers, and and after he qualified in the uh, the Magnus Magnificent Club Clash for the NHBL Finals, he still consistently got in the top four places, which he could have qualified if he had not previously. So he's at least has consistency with his boxing there. But you think – and Kinsley is also mentioned after the NHBL Finals match selection process. Uh, he, I sent him a steam message of, did you see the match selection process? And he said, yes, I did, and I am not going to lose again. So Kinsley very motivated. But Porcupine, of course, he said he hasn't touched Team Fortress 2 in months. You think that's going to – you think fatigue is going to be an issue for the – the reigning Sasha heavyweight champion. You see, if anybody would read the NHBO ring insider, I put down this match as a fair pick em. It can go either way because th there is there are issues on both sides of the chain where you see Porcupine, he, he's rusty as fuck. You know, he hasn't been around since December, which was the time to this was sorry, which was the Boxing Day Classic since December. And he got knocked out by Freeman the Annihilator in the conference finals of that tournament. However, he is making his return tonight. He's the fifth Sasha Heavyweight champion, the reigning champion, one of the greatest of all time, in my opinion. He should be able to pull off the win, but Kinsley is waiting for him. He's determined. He is determined not to lose ever again to some porcupine. It's going to be close. It's, it's, it's way too hard to tell there, Fedora. Indeed, and you do bring up that decent point that I forgot to mention in my opening monologue there if that Porcupine last second participated in the Time to Play Network Boxing Day Classic in December and got knocked out by the final round. He got knocked out by Freeman the Annihilator, and of course that tournament based on only laughs and not on kills with the holiday punch, but those are uh, those, of course essentially the same thing because when you punch someone with a holiday punch and make them laugh they're pretty much dead. But you look at the, you look at that match, you're right, it's a pick 'em, but that's our final match of the night, so we got to look forward to the first match that we have coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go to commercial break real quick. Music and Gear Grinder set to face off here in the Harpoon Gaming Superdome. You're watching the NHBL Finals kickoff matches presented by Skyver Community Fluffubat taking us to commercial. The NHBL Finals are exclusively hosted and presented by Skyver Community, a fresh take on Team Fortress 2 since 2014 and the home of the longest running and most popular Class Wars server. Skyver Community, official server host and official presenter of the NHBL Finals. The NHBL Finals, presented by Skyver Community, 
is sponsored by My Variety, official prize provider of the NHBL Finals. Scrap.tf, the first automated banking service for Team Fortress 2. And by Xeno Gamers, a different way to play. Welcome back to the Harpoon Gaming Superdome. And of course, uh, our live streamer Fluffabad bringing you all the action here for the NHBL Finals kickoff matches presented by Skyver Community. You get a shot of the ring right now. The mandatory three warm-up rounds happening between this first match between Musique and Gear Grinder. Now, Tyrone, of course, of course you know Gear Grinder a little, that little bit more on a, uh, say, a personal level outside, outside the real world. Does he have his fierce boxing competition at, in, uh, in TF2 as much as he has in the outside world, or is it the inverse way around? Uh, well, he certainly takes TF2 boxing very seriously. He, he, even before this match, he asked me personally to uh, help him train and just help him warm up uh, for the fight. It'll be interesting to see how that he's fought with uh, music before, how he knows his opponent now and will uh, do his absolute best, even now as he just won the uh, warm-up match uh, with music. Now, of course, of course, music and gear grinder have an even number of warm-up rounds. There's one more that's going to take place here. Now, Clayface, as we said, gear grinder is a substitute fighter here in the NHBL Finals for Spogo, who unfortunately could not make it to the NHBL Finals. Uh, wish them all uh, all the best in that. But yet, at least looking at seeing what the uh, what the warm-up rounds here is it an advantage or disadvantage for music that gear grinder is in the ring with him instead of Spogo? Huge disadvantage. Huge disadvantage advantage you see because he was training for for spogo man he was ready for spogo he knew what was coming at him in these uh these nhbl f uh, kickoffs he knew exactly what was what was coming at him and now he has to get he has to prepare himself for an entirely different boxer it's very difficult getting to know the boxer in the ring in a matter of three rounds Absolutely. And of course, some good sportsmanship being shown down there by the boxers. And with that, we'll hand it down to our referee, Fluffy Butt Sheep, for the first match in the NHBL Finals 2017. All right, you two lovely boxers here and there. We are here for our first week of the NHBL Finals. Now, I will go for the rules once, and then we will go on to this. There are no special rules within this. So that means the ordinary rules are applied no jumping, no crouching, no firing your sandwich, etc. As you can, music. Are you ready? Yes. Gear grinder. Are you ready for this? Gear grinder is ready. A sound of the bing from the commentator box. You may begin. And the NHBL Finals 2017 have kicked off into a great start with both fighters giving an even punch there. Make that three even punches for both music having the advantage here, and he'll win the first round against Gear Grinder. Looked like it was both even there between each boxer there, Clayface, with their punches, just even till the end, and music managed to get that extra punch in there. He did get that extra punch in, but it was the punch that definitely mattered. But he also got in the first punch, as you see. Both of them rushed at each other horn to horn. It was very nice. Performing clean, effective, efficient, brilliant. Round two. So far, it is one round to music. Gear Grinder, you will pull through this as well. Music, you will do good as well. I'm expecting a good match. You know the rules. At the sound of the commentator box, the bell will ring. Begin your fight. Round two. Music has the advantage. Gear Grinder can force a third round here. Music getting that first punch in. Gear Grinder trying to accommodate and get another punch there on Music. Dominant force of the flame, and Gear Grinder will fall. Music will advance to the divisionals next week. Best two out of three, of course, on those matches. Tyrone, what did Gear Grinder do wrong to not at least get one round of victory here? Uh, personally, I'm not disappointed in him. He he did his best, and Musique was uh, one of the best fighters to go against Mr. Doc and Professor Patrick. So I believe that Gear Grinder going head to head and almost winning, going locked horns full on uh, with Musique. Uh, is a great sign of his potential. Absolutely. And of course, looking forward to music, no, music advancing to the next round to the divisionals, he'll either be facing off against Russian Bear or Dimitri. 
Who out of those two boxers would be the better advantage for music? Um, I believe that Dimitri would also would have the uh, would give music the better advantage due to uh, Dimitri's relative naivete, at least compared to Russian Bear. I mean, picking the best of two evils, you probably Dimitri due to just his relative newfound. He hasn't won a tournament. I mean, he had, he hasn't won a final in uh, ever. Now, of course, Dimitri Dimitri Music facing off in the divisionals will be another great SSBL rematch between the two. But we'll, of course, look to the other side of the left bracket. Uh, we're going to take another commercial break. Vidkey and Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick about to brawl it out here in the Harpoon Gaming Superdome. Fluffubat taking us to commercial. You're watching the NHBL Finals kickoffs presented by Skyver Community. The NHBL Finals are exclusively hosted and presented by Skyver Community. A fresh take on Team Fortress 2 since 2014 and the home of the longest running and most popular Class Wars server. Skyver Community, official server host and official presenter of the NHBL Finals. The NHBL Finals, presented by Skyver Community, is sponsored by My Variety, official prize provider of the NHBL Finals. Scrap.tf, the first automated banking service for Team Fortress 2. And by Xeno Gamers, a different way to play. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harpoon Gaming Superdome, NHBL Finals kickoff matches presented by Skyver Community. Warm-up rounds, please. Now the warm-up rounds being taken here between Vidki and Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. Now, we'll go to Clayface here first. Now, Vidki, he wasn't expecting to be in this match. It was going to be True Blue against Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. But, of course, both of these guys from Swap Shop, Shop Boxing League, they've got a bit of rivalry between the two, don't they? Yes, this is a huge rivalry. Of course, both of members of the uh, comrades are here tonight in Dimitri and, of course, Vidki is participating in this match coming up. If there is anybody who can beat Patrick in any type of way, it's either Vidki or Dimitri. They know Patrick inside and out, 100%. They know him, they have studied him, and and I would not, I would certainly not be shocked if uh, Vidki can pull, pull this off. Yeah, of course, no, of course, and especially to Tyrone, we've already mentioned it before, but Mr. Doc Professor Patrick here, he's coming into this tournament, winning two tournaments in a row, potentially able to pick up that record that uh, Porcupine has set of four consecutive tournaments won, but he's got to win this one, and then he would have to register for the Backyard Brawl in Season 7 and win that as well to at least tie the record, of course. You think that, you think Patrick's uh, two tournament streak going into the into this match tonight you think it's going to be a benefit or it's going to be a slowdown uh, well he certainly uh after slugging through all of the uh sort of normal uh, average skilled boxers i think now that he's come to sort of the peak of the boxers you know the cream of the crop i think it's going to be a lot more difficult for him to continue the streak but I think he can do it. Uh, he's certainly a dark horse candidate in that he's just never, he just showed up one day and started winning tournament after tournament. The guy has never lost any matches that he's been, or uh, any fights that he's been put up against. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, he does to the sort of cream of the crop of the NHBL. Absolutely. And we'll hand it down to our referee, Snake, for the second match in the kickoffs. All right, fellas, bring it in right around me. Let's go. Bring it in. Both of you, come on. All right, I want a good, clean fight today, boys. You worked hard for this. You made it in. Now, standard NHBL rules apply here. No jumping, no crouching, no hit low blows, no exiting the ring at any time. You each have two disputes to start off. If you successfully use two disputes, you will be rewarded with two additional ones. Again, standard NHBL rules apply. Are you both ready? Excellent. Now back to your corners. And as soon as the bell rings, you may begin. Round one, Vidki and Patrick, a clash between Swap Shop Boxing League members. 
First punch thrown in there by Patrick, Good and he's God. able to win the first round there. Tyrone, it looks like the amount of aggression that was shown there by Patrick right off the bat is going to – it looks like that's how we've seen him go throughout the rest of these tournaments. Uh, of course, and he certainly knows how to execute on his aggression. Having aggression and then no execution is certainly almost a suicide tactic. Uh, but uh, Dr. Press Bratcher can execute, and he does. Absolutely. Round two. All right, fighters, you ready? Is that two yeses? Awesome. I'd like to remind you, at after the round, if you see anything that you feel is against the rules or of the sort, you can type in the chat or talk verbally saying that you would like to dispute. When the bell rings, you may begin. Round two. Patrick has the advantage and quick aggression shown there by Patrick. Vidki having a little bit more of calm nature, not able to sprout out from the corner. As it looks like more punches getting in by Vidki. And Patrick will advance to the conference, or not to the conference finals just yet, but only to the divisional. So Patrick able to get a 2-0 win here. We haven't had any of these first round matches, even though we've only seen two. None of them have gone to the third round. Why do you think it didn't go to the third round here, Clayface? Well, because there was too many too many misses and too many mistakes on Vicky's behalf. As you saw in in those in, in, in the first round, he missed every single punch that he threw and then only landed the last damn punch. That is insane to see such a such a highly talented fighter like Vid. He just just throw it all away with a few misses there. Absolutely. And of course, Patrick is either going to face off against Kinsley or some porcupine. And of course, who of course that's still a throw match with that with that from the Ring Insider predictions, but who would be, be who would be more that Patrick is wanting to face in that in that well, round? I'm not going to say advantage, but more of who do you I'll think he you, wants to I'll, get? I'll, I'll tell you one thing: Patrick has been actually no, actually that that's a mistake. Patrick has never fought some some porcupine, but just to see those two fight would be a huge clash as of course you have the undefeated Patrick versus the the reigning Sasha heavyweight champion it'd be massive that would be massive to see if it happened and even in in a divisional that match is good for a Sasha heavyweight championship final but but to see it in a divisional you, you guys are getting a trade I I think he'd rather fight to uh, porcupine just to add to the names of the list of people that he's taken out. Absolutely. And speaking of Sasha Heavyweight Championship Finals, only two heavy boxers entering this tournament have been to the Sasha Heavyweight Championship Final, and we're about to see one box next. White Russian Bear and Dimitri up next after this commercial break from the Harpoon Gaming Superdome, the NHBL Finals kickoff matches presented by Skyver Community and Fluffubat, our live streamer, taking us back to commercial. The NHBL Finals are exclusively hosted and presented by Skyver Community. A fresh take on Team Fortress 2 since 2014 and the home of the longest running and most popular Class Wars server. Skyver Community, official server host and official presenter of the NHBL Finals. The NHBL Finals, presented by Skyver Community, is sponsored by... My Variety, official prize provider of the NHBL Finals. Scrap.tf, the first automated banking service for Team Fortress 2. And by Xeno Gamers, a different way to play. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, uh, to the Harpoon Gaming Superdome. White Russian Bear and Dimitri commencing their warm-up rounds here before their match in the NHBL finals and of course Russian of course uh, Clayface uh, Clayface I'll get to you in a second because I got to you first last time Tyrone let's talk a little bit about Dimitri here as a dominant fighter in the swap shop boxing league he's been in the top four positions in the last two tournaments not 
quite win uh, winning the fisticuffs nor the battle royale, but he is a dominant boxer coming in here to the playoffs. Uh, yeah, he certainly is. He's been a uh, presence ever since the uh, first season of the NHBL. Uh, certainly, as we see in the uh, warm-up matches here, they both play very, very defensively and carefully picking their uh, uh, their swings, but it seems to be working out for White Russian Bear. I do uh, expect that my prophecy of Dimitri possibly winning, uh, not to go uh, as well as I initially thought. Absolutely. And Clayface, there has been uh, there have been speculations made by people and also some rumors and such that Russian Bear, upon completion of this tournament, regardless of if he gets knocked out or not, this may be his last rodeo. Now, of course, yeah. uh, of course, if that is the case, uh, regardless of what happens in this tournament, of course, it'd be kind of like a Peyton Manning story of the NHBL where the guy who's the been NHBL. in the NHBL for however many years it, and is giving it one last go and could potentially win the championship. Win the championship, which would be huge. And I think Russian would be a, an, an amazing uh, – it'd be a very emotional day if we ever had to see that day. But there have been rumors. There was a lot of speculation – about it would it not or would it happen but uh i suppose we'll have, to, well, we'll have to find out if that if that is the case yeah of that yeah of course all right ladies and gentlemen let's head down to our referee snake for the first round the return of russian mayor facing off against dimitri in the nhbl kickoffs excuse me sir <laughs> you see, this is why I have an intro. Boys, bring it in. Bring it in right here in the middle. That's right. Good, clean fight. You all know the rules, standard NHBL rules. You each have two... Uh... Oh my God, Dimitri, you are a distraction. You each have two disputes. If they are both successful, you get two more upon completion. You can use them. At the end of rounds, if you believe something funky happened, hit rag, et cetera, et cetera. No crouching, no jumping, no jumping out of the ring, yada, yada. Are you both ready to commence? It's not possible. I also forgot to mention that there is no eating in the ring. Not good. The crumbs. After rounds. To get a janitor, we're gonna have to get a janitor after all the crumbs in the ring. All right, since fighters are in their corners, are you both ready? No. Dimitri is ready, Russian is not. Russian, you give me the all clear when you are. Oh, this is bad. Yes. Perfect. When the bell rings, you both may begin. Round one begins. Russian Bear and Dimitri both aggressive with their starting out runs. Both of them getting even punches in. Russian Bear manages to win the first round. And of course, Russian Bear here, Clayface, he dominated 3-0 in the warm-up rounds there. You think that's going to be uh, going to be reflective here, except with 2-0 for Russian in the actual rounds? This was totally unexpected on my on my behalf. I I actually didn't really give Russian much of a chance in this match. As if you know, he hasn't fought since uh, since January. But a ring rust on him. I thought to uh, Dimitri would start off as a clean sweeper. Well, it looks like for Dimitri for Dimitri to make it back, he has to win two rounds in a row to be able to advance to the next round against Patrick. But we'll see how it goes here. Round two, brothers. Round two, same rules apply. Both get to your corners as close as you can. Oh, Dimitri, are you ready? Russian, are you ready? Oh, it looks like Russian uh, Russian Bear is getting an important call there. Maybe from his manager, Tyrone. I believe so. He's gonna have to uh, file a report with uh, HR. Uh. On this ruthless description. 
Let me jump in to say something to you. This fight was originally supposed to happen back in in uh, January in the champions versus uh, champions match. Now it, it would have been very interesting to see how it would have taken place on and on that type of setting and how it would have gone because that was the best nine out of five. Uh, sorry, five out of nine match. So it, it's. It, it would have been very interesting if that, that would have happened in in jet anyway but um yeah this is now it's happening yeah indeed that would have been a great match to see back in january but <clears throat> it's ending up happening here in june back down to the ring are you ready I'm very tempted to cake take around from you for eating that sandwich after saying not to, but <clears throat> anyway, Dimitri, are you still ready? Perfect. Russian, are you ready? Not good. Yes. Good. May I remind fighters that there is no eating if rounds are over. When the bell rings, you may both begin round two. Round two. Russian has the advantage. Gunch is being thrown in here. If Russian wins. He'll face Patrick in the quarterfinals. And he will. Another 2 0 sweep here in the first music, round. Actually. Dimitri has been knocked out. One of the big upsets in the first round. And again, Tyrone, we've talked about how the left side of the bracket here is essentially the side of death. Where if you can escape the side of death, then you can conquer anybody else you face in the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. But, that, but of course, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this goes. And correction, it's that Musique is facing off against White Russian Bear here in the semifinals. Oh, fun so we there, said, that, so we said, you said, of course, in your predictions that uh, it's better. To, it would be better for Dimitri to face off against Musique here. You still stand with that after what you've seen? Uh, that it would be better for uh, Musique to to uh, be fighting Dimitri. Uh, yes, you originally sure, said me. yeah. You originally said that it was going to be Dimitri. That if Dimitri faced off against Musique, that he would be more of a, he would be more of a threat that faced off them. But with the way Russian Bear has played, is he more of a threat? Uh, of course, certainly. When I stated my prediction of who would win this match, I uh, originally stated that. It would certainly probably be who took the match more seriously, and due to the chat, I believe that Dimitri did not take this match seriously at all, and White Russian Bear just cleaned the floor with him. So it'll be certainly interesting when Musik and White Russian Bear uh, face off in the uh, semifinals. Uh, it's the uh, quarterfinals, actually, or the divisionals that they're facing off against. Uh, whoever wins the divisionals will go to the conference finals, of course. But uh, it's going to be a good ma good match here. Uh, Clayface, of course, just get your word one last time on this. Russian Bear dominates 2-0. to zero. You said you didn't give any credit. You thought it would be the yeah. other way around of Dimitri doing a sweep here. You, yeah. After seeing how Russian Bear has boxed today, does he have what it takes to beat Musik? Hell, that would be a close match, you know. Hell, it, it, it's, it's going to take an absolute absolute a stumper to get past music i can't believe somebody actually had to correct you fedora on the uh, on the hbl finals tournament bracket which is you're right very, you're right which is a first in nhbl history gentlemen ladies and gentlemen that is a first in nhbl history fedora not knowing the correct bracket is beyond me but um no this is this is absolutely great though right russian bear moving on it, it's 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 great to see him back in good form. It, it really is. Absolutely, and he'll box either next Friday or next Saturday in the divisionals against Musique. And we've got one more match to finalize the divisional matches in the side of death. Kinsley and some porcupine coming up after commercial break from the Harpoon Gaming Superdome. The NHBL Finals kickoff matches presented by Skyver Community. Fluffu. The NHBL Finals are exclusively hosted and presented by Skyver Community. A fresh take on Team Fortress 2 since 2014 and the home of the longest running and most popular Class Wars server. 
Skyver Community, official server host and official presenter of the NHBL Finals. The NHBL Finals, presented by Skyver Community, is sponsored by My Variety, official prize provider of the NHBL Finals. Scrap.tf, the first automated banking service for Team Fortress 2. And by Xeno Gamers, a different way to play. Welcome back to the Harpoon Gaming Superdome, the final match of tonight's kickoff matches and the final first round match of the side of death. Kinsley and some porcupine facing off about to have their mandatory warm-up rounds here. Now, Clayface, some porcupine. He hasn't been active since the Boxing Day Classic in December. He qualified for the NHBL Finals in August, the first, the first tournament of Season 6, and he is the defending Sasha Heavyweight Champion. Does he have what it takes to beat Kinsley in terms of Season 6 experience? Uh, probably, look, he is the he's the fifth Sasha Heavyweight Champion for a reason. He dominated everybody. He's been, he's been, hasn't been seen since December. That's a big downfall for him in in this match. But in saying that, it's some friggin' por it's some friggin' porcupine, man. He he's probably arguably the greatest boxer we have ever seen in in the N H in the N H B L. As you mentioned, four consecutive tournaments, including the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. It's beyond me how he can't get past Kinsley. If he has issues tonight, yeah, and he's very. It's very well possible that he could be that uh, porcupine here. He could break history and become the first heavy boxer to win two Sasha heavyweight champions. Russian Bear having that chance two other times, and could potentially have a have a fourth chance here at a Sasha heavyweight championship title. Of course, only one up for three for Russian Bear. Now, Tyrone, talk a little bit here about Kinsley. Again, very consistent heavy boxer, getting in top positions or at the least losing losing in a close match in the divisional matches of other tournaments and such. Does Kinsley have what it takes to beat the reigning Sasha heavyweight champion? Uh, I believe he does. Uh, certainly, some porcupine has been uh, obviously slouching in his... Uh heavy boxing practice, but uh, Kinsley has stated that he will not lose a fourth time to some porcupine, and it sounds like he's been training pretty hard to uh, beat him, but we will just have to see whether uh, heavy boxing is like riding a bike and uh, how well that whole skill holds up over time. Absolutely. I believe they're finishing up their last warm-up round here. I have to look at the uh... That look at the stats there for uh, for who won each round. I believe it was Porcupine, then Kinsley, and then Kinsley. So Kinsley with a two to one victory there. Could that be reflective of the real match? The, the issue is he just mentioned in chat he's playing while holding in a shit. So that is extremely disadvantage <laughs> for some Porcupine. <laughs> extremely disadvantage. He must be sitting on his chair, dying to take a, a fucking dump. <laughs> man, <laughs> man, he had all that break to be able, no, 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 to, no, be no, able no. to go. He took his shit before his fight. That's like another shit. Oh like, my like, goodness! <laughs> like, like, be a fucking like diarrhea of some shit, dude. Well, oh, damn. Uh, well, regardless of what the result is of this match, I'm sure Porcupine won't do a post game interview. Who will be eager to make a report with a great white round one? All right, Kinsley should be in the ring now, but we'll hand it down to our official Fluffy Bud Sheep to kick off the final match of the first round of the side of death. All right, gentlemen, gentlemen, boxers here. It's lovely to see you all. It's lovely to realize that Noah's porcupine has returned after doing what's known as a number two. Are you holding anything else? Porcupine? <laughs> I think he went back to wipe. How much toilet roll did you have to drag out to the ring? Jesus, anyway. Jesus, it's, it was like a 20 second shit. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, gentlemen. 
All right, glad you know. Anyway, standard rules apply here. No jumping, no crouching, no eating a sandwich and all that stuff. Um, as Snake has said many times, you have two disputes, and if you uh, win two of them, you get one dispute back and your other two. Kinsley, are you ready? Very well. Yes. Porcupine, are you clean and ready? <laughs> 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 yes, he's ready. Okay. At the sound he's at least ready. We can't vouch for the cleanness here. Okay, please. All right, enough, please. Okay. At uh, the sound. Oh, you're getting some lag. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just let me know when you're good. Keep on. I haven't seen a crap that bad since, since I searched for one on YouTube. I haven't heard a crap. What? Since. You searched for. That's, oh, a, that's trying to make a joke at YouTube it's poops, but funny. I guess it just wasn't that good of a joke. Are you ready? Porcupine is already ready? Okay, Porcupine is ready. Can Slate confirm once again? Are you ready? Oh, lovely. At the sound of the bell from the commentator's box, please begin. One of the most epic matchups in the National Levy Boxing League's first round. Kinsley and some Porcupine about to duke it out here. Of course, the bell is rung. No punches thrown yet. Porcupine will get the first punch in there. There's Kinsley trying to get some more punches on him. And Porcupine wins the first round. Some Porcupine gets a good start here against Kinsley. Now, one to zero. Knowing the, both, the way that both of these boxers are, knowing how Kinsley is here, Tyrone, there's no way that this is going to go a 2-0 ace. Yeah, I'm certain it's not. I think it's going to be the only uh, wild card uh, match that is going to be a sort of a three rounder. Uh, but we just got to see whether K uh, Kinsley can adapt to some porcupine. Because clearly, some porcupine has surprised him in the amount of skill that he has retained over the past eight months. Absolutely. All right, round two. <laughs> Kinsley, look, Kinsley, look, I know some porcupine, he had a problem, he couldn't release his true zen because he had a turd building up inside him, but you do not need to take it on your desk. <laughs> he, he got so angry, he fucking hammered his desk. Are you alright, dude? Are you actually... <laughs> no, oh, shit. <laughs> man, Ikea does some shit to your body, man. <laughs> Kinsley, are you actually okay? I'm starting to worry now. Why did you even hit your desk? I popped some blood vessels. vessels. Man, that's some serious shit. Why did you shit. hit your poor desk? So mean. Alright, okay. Kinsley is ready. Pokemon. Are you ready? Once again, you have disputes. If, there are, if you see something that is foul play, a hitbox, any sort of lag, we will look into this. You just have to type at the end of the round or in voice that you would like to dispute around. At the sound of the commentator box, please begin. Round two. Porcupine leads it one to zero. The defending Sasha heavyweight champion against Kinsley, the man who says he will not lose to Porcupine ever again. And Kinsley gets the first punch in there. It was a good move by Kinsley. Now it's even in punches. Kinsley manages to win the second round. It is tied one to one. The first match in the first round that is tied a one to one here. Clayface, you were right when you said in your ring insider prediction that this is a throw match that could go either way. What are you feeling right now as you saw uh, both of these fighters box? And the, the, the nerves are kicking in badly right now. I probably have more fucking nerves than the guys in the bloody ring. Um, <laughs> no, but, but this, is, this is a great, great performance by both these guys. It proves how, how close it is. It, it can it, it can really get the the amount of competition between these 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 two guys is just great. It's fantastic. <clears throat> it all comes down to the final and third round. All right, thank you very much. Also, if you think you've got more nerves in here, well, I think Porcupine has just shout out more nerves than you can ever produce. Anyway. Before I do this, Porcupine, could you kindly please stop downing yourself in the chat, please? I don't think I, you have a dispute. Uh, a dispute? Here we go. And um, what will that dispute be? Please make sure it's sensible. Uh, so, uh, so some Porcupine making a dispute of the previous... <laughs> ah. If you think this is bullying you, I'm being very nice. I'm not bullying you, I'm being nice. It's Porcupine, okay, it's okay. Porcupine, if I give you a cookie, will you behave? <laughs> 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 no. 
that of course in Fluffy's mind right now, damn it, the cookie usually works. Crap! Looks like I have to get spotted in here for some of the stuff. I mean, uh... <laughs> you refuses to be bribed with your no fallacy cookies. Porcupine, I'm, fallacy sorry. Cookies. I'm sorry if I may come offensive for you, but look, does this fluffy butt lie to you? Yes, it does. Okay, anyway. Like I said, you have two disputes. Make sure they are sensible ones. <laughs> no, no. Kids, like, no, no, <laughs> time and place. Look, I know your unusual has hearts going off about it, but no, I'm not into you. I have a professional here. Anyway, Kinsley, are you ready? Good, because you're not hitting on me. Anyway, Porcupine, are you ready? Porcupine? Are you ready, Porcupine? Good, good. At the at sound of the bell, you may begin. One final round for either of these boxers in the NHBL finals. One will go on and one will go home. Kinsley getting his punches in. And it's Kinsley! Wow. There will be a new Sasha heavyweight champion. And it will not, this year, it will not be some porcupine. Kinsley has defeated all odds. Clayface going down there to get a sideline interview with Kinsley with a big upset. Uh, Tyrone, how, what, uh, Kinsley uh, did the same thing he did in the warm-up rounds. He lost the first round to Porcupine, won the second and third round, and has managed to come back and defy all odds. What words are there to say here? Uh, certainly... Uh, some porcupine would kind of have to pay for that kind of attention for uh, from fluffy butt sheep, but otherwise, I believe uh, I, I certainly I certainly believe that this was sort of the expected outcome. Kinsley certainly trained very hard and very long uh, for this uh, sweet uh, sweet victory. Absolutely. And of course, Kinsley did say that he would not lose again, and he has proved that today. So Kinsley now dethroning the, the reigning Sasha heavyweight champion or not eliminating his chance to get a second Sasha heavyweight championship. So it is going to be interesting to see how the tournament goes. But Kinsley will be facing off against Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. How do you think that match is going to fare? This is for Tyrone. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still talking to you, buddy. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, it's so. I, th I think we're just all shocked at what happened at the round, the wild card round, the wall of death. We're certainly gonna see some interesting matches in the divisional, but I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that uh, some of the smaller. I think that some of the smaller boxers here certainly learned some things from the uh, more professional boxers and how they uh, fight and how to sort of... It was a more of a learning experience for them. Sorry if I didn't answer your questions. I was zoning nah, out in time because I assumed fine, my man. Clay we all, was here. This is one of the biggest upsets I think we'll see in the first round of uh, the NHBL finals. One of them at least. I'm sure we'll see some other ones on the the right side of the bracket. But uh, that will happen. To, that that will of course happen tomorrow with the remaining wild cards. And now we're gonna head down to the ring. Clayface is down there with the one and only Kinsley, who just pulled off the upset. Clayface, even a post match interview. Hey guys, it's Clayface down here with Kinsley. Now Kinsley, that was a great, great win over some some porcupine, the reigning fifth Sasha Bray champion. I'm currently uh, got tears running down my face. Um, great, great win, though, man. As I mentioned in the NHBO Wing Insider, I said it was going to be a, a very close fight. Pick him, which means it could have gone either way. Do you believe it could it could have gone either way? Oh, yeah, totally. I, uh, I sort of talked a little bit bigger than I was actually... Uh, I didn't train that much. I just sort of played like a, far, like a lot today. I just like 
like before this i was uh just sparring with this one dude and i think that helps a lot but otherwise it's uh oh wait, wait, wait. hang on hang on that's it was wait, wait. it was more of like wait wait were I... you sparring with with somebody huh? before the actual match oh no it was like before uh we were called in for the discord like an hour like an hour or two before it was a uh, friend of mine but, uh, All right, that's too. fair enough. That's fair enough. But of but of course, the fifth Sasha heavyweight oh, champ, uh, the fifth Sorry. Sasha heavyweight champion, Porcupine. He's you 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 just got rid of him. Huge talent. Yes. Um, and now you're going on to face Mr. Doctor Professor Patrick, who is still undefeated in the NHBL. What do you what are you feeling about t- towards that fight? Of course, coming up next week in the divisionals. Dude, I'm about to lose. Um. That's a great voice crack, but... What the fuck? Really Are you kidding good. me? You just yeah, beat no, some porcupine and you're saying you're about to lose to Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. That has to be some of the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my life. Like, I don't know why everyone's saying shit today. Seems that the that, that the uh, the keyword is shit. But of, <sighs> you, you and Dr. Patrick, I, I believe you guys did uh, fight in the Time to Play Network fisticuffs. Or the Scarvey Community mm-hmm. Battle Royale. I think it was in the conference finals on one of those tournaments. It didn't quite go your way, but but now it's a much bigger and higher stakes fight. You're in the NHBL finals now. This is the most, the biggest prize pool you've ever, you've ever played for. Uh, just the question: How were the nerves tonight going into this? Oh, one? dude, I was like scared out of my mind because Porcupine's beating me like what three times, four times. I was like, well, okay. Uh, it's, I sort of was accepting loss before I was going in, but I guess it didn't turn out that way. I, I'm happy for that, but like, I don't know how to respond. He was a long time rival. All right. Well, it was great to speak to you, Kinsley, yeah, and we look good. forward to seeing you against Mr. Doctor Professor Patrick in the in the divisionals of the NHL finals. Back to you, Fedora and Tyrone. Plus. Thank you, Clayface. Uh, Tyrone, let's give a little bit of analysis here before we sign off for the night. Uh, the first mat- the uh, first divisional match that we saw solidified for next week, White Russian Bear versus Musique. Obviously, both of these heavy boxers, they swept their matches 2-0 to zero and d- dominated Dimitri and, and Gear Grinder. Both of these heavy boxers, very skilled going into the, the divisionals next week. You think that match is going to go right down to the fifth round, or is one of them going to pull off another sweep? Uh, it's possible that White Russian Bear might pull off a sweep, but I think that Music is going to put up a, a good enough fight that it will go to the fifth round. Uh, I certainly hope that he wins. I always love a good underdog story, but uh, I don't think uh, I personally uh, think that White Russian Bear will probably win. It's very possible, especially with the way Russian Bear has played today. And who knows, we could see a Russian Bear Patrick semifinal, depending on how things go. But speaking of Patrick, uh, Clayface, let's talk a little bit about the Patrick Kinsley match. You just interviewed Kinsley. Fortunately, didn't seem very confident going into next week's divisional match. But of course, he just beat the reigning Sasha Ebuwe champion. So it's a little bit confusing of his answer. He may just be a, a mixture of humility and low self esteem, but it could be. De- could be a clever disguise of his true intentions or true strategies. But the Patrick managed to sweep Vidgi 2-0, but Kinsley, it took him three rounds to beat some Porcupine. Of course, again, he, again Porcupine was the reigning Sasha heavyweight champion, so it was a difficult match going into. But looking at Patrick and Kinsley about to face off each, against each other next week, do you think Patrick is going to pull off a complete sweep of Kinsley, or is it going to go right right down to the wire? It it's it's it certainly won't be a be a sweep. I believe it will be close. It will be close. After watching Kinsley tonight, it should be a close fight. But of course, Patrick right now is the is is the favorite to win the Sasha Heavyweight Championship, in my opinion, because I want to talk about the the right side too. Of course, where you have uh, Spotten there on the right side. He did beat Spotten in the final of the. Uh, I believe it was the time to play, it was the time to play network fisticuffs. He beat him in the finals of that. And 
I, I believe is going to be very difficult unless White Russian Bear can face Patrick in the in the conference finals after witnessing what happened in, of course, January, to champions versus champions. It's to five nil clean sweeper. But um, as I said, Patrick is the is the favorite to win the Sasha Everweight Championship, in my in my opinion. On the other hand, Kinsley is is more determined than, than ever. He just beat Porcupine. Anything can happen. I say it right now. Anything can happen in the NHBL. I've heard that phrase many times, and tonight it certainly proved itself with the reigning Sasha Heavyweight champion knocked out of his chance of winning another championship title in season six. So you heard it already, Russian Bear versus Musique and Patrick versus Kinsley in the divisionals next week in the side of death. The uh, We have yet to see the first round matches, the wild card matches on the other side of the bracket. You'll be able to catch those tomorrow here on our Twitch channel at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. The order of those matches, of course, El Caminante facing off against Spotten, yeah. Empire the Mystic Flame against Freeman the Annihilator, Setup Lit versus Saxon Uvi, and Pootman versus Metro. So those matches are going to be great to catch tomorrow on Twitch here on the NHBL's official Twitch channel, and those will be the NHBL Finals wildcard matches presented by Skyver Community. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into tonight's broadcast here from the Harpoon Gaming Superdome. I'm the gentleman Sedora for Clayface and Tyrone. We will st- see you tomorrow, same t- same time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, same place, the Harpoon Gaming Superdome, for the next exciting matches of the NHBL Finals. And Fluffu Bat playing our outro. This has been the NHBL Finals kickoff matches presented by Skyver Community. The NHBL Finals are exclusively hosted and presented by Skyver Community. A fresh take on Team Fortress 2 since 2014 and the home of the longest running and most popular Class Wars server. Skyver Community, official server host and official presenter of the NHBL Finals. The NHBL Finals, presented by Skyver Community, is sponsored by... My Variety, official prize provider of the NHBL Finals. Scrap.tf, the first automated banking service for Team Fortress 2. And by Xeno Gamers, a different way to play. Skyver Community thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Heavy Boxing League.